Good nutrition has to be the foundation of a new India and a priority for the government. But don't take it from me. Take it from the Prime Minister himself. Sadhya, jis prakar majbut imarat ke liye neem ka thos hona jaruri hai usi prakar shakti shali naye bharat ke liye poshit aur swast bachpan ka hona bhi jaruri hai. But a survey released by the Modi government itself tells us a different story. Recently, the National Family Health Survey released its findings for 17 states and five union territories. The data tells us this. Malnutrition is on a rise. Let's start with this. Among 107 countries, India ranks 94th on the Global Hunger Index of 2020. Essentially, 14% of the population is undernourished. That is more than the population of Russia, plus 44 million more. And what does the NFHS report say? Child stunting has increased in 13 states, including developed states like Kerala, Gujarat and Maharashtra. Child wasting, which is when children have low weight for their height, has increased in 12 states, with Maharashtra and Gujarat on top. Underweight children increased in 16 states and overweight children increased in 20 states. These four factors, stunting, wasting, overweight and underweight together indicate the level of malnutrition in the country. And that's not all. The numbers for the four factors have worsened compared to the previous NFHS report. In fact, the NFHS 4, which was conducted in the year 2015-2016, actually recorded a drop in child malnutrition levels. All of that now seems to be reversed. But what's the reason for this decline in nutrition? The pandemic is of course a factor, but that's short-sighted. To take up the larger perspective, here are two words to start with. Budget cuts. In 2018-2019, rupees 1,69,323 crores were allocated to the food subsidy scheme. But in the year of 2020-2021, the money allocated was dropped to 1,15,569 crores. That's a 31% drop for a scheme that distributes subsidized food grains to 67% of India's population. Even the midday meal scheme that in 2013-2014 had rupees 13,200 crores now has to operate with a budget of rupees 11,000 crores. And it's not just about the budget cuts, it's also about how the budget is flowing. The Pradhan Mantri Matru Vandana Yojana, which is a maternity benefit program crucial to the development of children, has issues in the way it's delivered. According to a Niti Aayog report, 28% of all Aadhaar based payments under the program have been credited to the wrong accounts. That's almost one in three cases. Even if a substantial budget were to be formulated, what about those who ensure the delivery of these schemes? Anganwadi workers and helpers who ensure on the ground that the nutritional schemes reach the people have low salaries, aren't recognized as government employees, and continue to be overworked and understaffed all at the same time. In fact, Anganwadi workers and helpers have been demanding and protesting over these issues for a while now. But evidently, the frontline health workers of the country don't cut into the foundation of a new India. In the wake of the NFHS report, several questions now remain to be answered. Will we be able to reduce our numbers on undernourishment coming out of a pandemic? And given this report, will there be substantial changes to increase the budget on nourishment, especially one that involves the frontline health workers.